Hi there, my name is Shane O'Brien McDonald, and I am the host of Japan in 100 Dishes. And this is the bonus episode number five about all you can eat sweets. Um, so, again, my usual caveats if you've seen one of these before, again, my Japanese isn't perfect. I haven't had 12 years of education in Japanese.、Um, another thing is that,、um, again, I'm an English speaker, I'm a foreigner. Uh, this is my perspective. I, I make mistakes. Please point them out in the comments if I say something wrong, because I probably will.、Uh, but again, if you want the Japanese perspective, absolutely. There are thousands, maybe millions of hours of TV shows and videos and YouTubers telling you all about these great foods. So I'm not the only one,、um, but I've struggled to find a source of this in English. So that's why I'm. Bringing this to you. Today's episode, now you may benefit、um, by re watching episode one of Japan in 100 Dishes because that's where I mention Sweets Paradise. And today I'd like to introduce you to Sweets Paradise. It is what is called an all you can eat restaurant that specializes in sweets. And it's called a Viking lunch. That's right. It literally is called a Viking. That's what they call it. You say the word Viking in Japanese, the first thing that comes to mind is. A spread of all you can eat foods. Second thing is the guys, the Norsemen, that、uh, actually I probably have ancestors like that with red or blonde hair. But the number one thing Japanese people think of is Viking. And you know what they have? The spin off of the Viking. Now, the Viking lunch, what it's called, is something, it's basically a buffet.、Uh, a buffet, all you can eat, like at a hotel on Sundays, but they also have them in different places. They're very, very popular in Japan. But a spin off of that is called the Cake Viking. But the thing is, the Cake Viking is a very Specific kind of all you can eat buffet of sweets, of cake, of fruit salads, things like that. And that's what we're focusing on. Now, Sweets Paradise is a chain in,、uh, I know it's at least Tokyo, probably all over Japan. And what you do is you pay a fee, a flat fee, and you're given、um, time to go and eat it. And they have three options, at least this is the latest one. I'm just looking at their website. Uh, there's the basic or fundamental Viking, which is $11, taxes included. It is 50 minutes. So you get to go crazy at the buffet stand for 50 minutes. Then there is the standard Viking, and this is important. It is 70 minutes, and it also has included all you can drink drinks, and that is $13. And 20 cents. Well, it's 1,320 yen, but might as well. In the, in, here's the thing the, you're going to see different exchange rates for yen versus dollars and different things. Like economists come up with this basket good called purchasing power parity, but in actual fact, a dollar here is a dollar there, roughly, roughly speaking. Again, not 100%. Some things are more expensive, some are cheaper. Fish is definitely much cheaper in Japan.、Um, meat is much cheaper here.、Um, Lots of things are a little bit different. Housing is a bit weird because getting a one bedroom apartment in an English speaking country is very expensive. However, they're, they're, they're much cheaper in Japan, but they have a lot smaller floor space. Again, it's just a very different, it's hard to go on one to one, but just think of 100 yen as $1. And then finally, we have the recommended, the Osusume Viking. And this is 80 minutes. It is $14.90, so it's $15. This is for adults. And here's the key. Any idea what this is, kids? Anybody want to guess? Yes, that's right. You guessed it. All you can eat Hagen Dazs ice cream. All that for $14. So you get all this, you get all this, including the drinks, and you get all you can eat Hagen Dazs ice cream. Isn't that amazing? Why don't we have these? And maybe this is the thing. I guess they assume Japanese people have very small stomachs, I guess. I don't know. Again, this is the kind of place that is beloved by 14 year old girls and families with kids, things like that. It's not,、uh, you know, a guy like me is probably not going to hang out there unless he's with his girlfriend or unless he has kids.、Um, but what's great about this is that the website actually has.、Um, Images of everything they serve, and I thought this was phenomenal.、Um, they have lemon cakes, they have cupcakes, they have peach cakes. I think that's peach, yeah, that's peach. They have mango cakes, they've got coconuts and chai. I think it's a coconut tea cake. They've got、um, pineapple rolls, they've got strawberry jelly, they've got uh, uh, blueberry, little blueberry. Is that right? 
blueberry cream, blueberry mousse, blueberry mousse. There you go. Um, a little baked cheese. I don't know what the baked cheese is. It probably is some relative of cheesecake. Um, they've got crepes. They've got opera. I don't know. I'm assuming it's some sort of thing that's very skinny. Um, this is like green tea mousse. They've got strawberry shortcake. There's custards. Looks like two. This is called, yes, custard cream. Uh, what else? They've got cheese pudding, whatever that is. Um, they've got grapefruit mousse. They've got classic, classic chocolat, whatever the hell that is. It looks like some sort of chocolate souffle. Basci? I don't know what this is. I don't know what basci. Again, a lot of these things are from Europe. I think this is probably some Portuguese dolce de leche sort of thing going on. There's chou, chou creme. Chou de creme is a French food where it's like a pastry with cream inserted. This is a miniature one. They've got small strawberry mousse. Uh, they've got pineapple or mango-y thing from Italy, maybe. I don't know. Um, they got, oh, the haagen of course, and they've got, uh, oh, this is, oh, look there, this little pink square, this is popular. Um, this is the plain chiffon cake. I think, it, I don't think it's popular. I think it's popular because it doesn't cost them anything, but that's my theory. But it says it's popular, so who am I to argue? Then you've got the fluffy shortcake, strawberry shortcake. Um, you've got the berry cake, again, very popular the 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 pudding roll a uh, pudding roll i don't know and then they've got a baked chocolate cake um and this is a custard uh caramel a caramel custard a chocolate cake a rare cheese i don't know why a cheese is rare again this is a, something that is a mystery of japanese culture uh, i don't know what how rare these things like indiana jones goes to find this cheese in a small cheese factory in france and brings it back for sweets to uh, paradise to allow you to eat as much of it as you want. It can't be very rare if you can if you have endless quantities for 90 minutes or 80 minutes. And again, this is another mousse. This is the uh, flan balls, flan balls, boazu. I'm not going to touch that one. Uh, and then tiramisu, which is fantastic. Now, the thing is, this is actually what I mean. I mean, I'm just looking at this and saying, my God, how much, how many slices, how many of these cakes can you possibly eat? Again, a lot of them are mousses. So again, I guess they just make a huge quantity of it. Uh, the cakes, they're definitely going to be filling though. Uh, but those mousse things, you could probably gobble those down, no problem. They do have a small amount of food. And look at this, it's all pasta and curries and rice, so you'll fill up quickly. So they've got chicken tomato pasta, they've got corn soup, they've got yaki So what is this, takenoko, it's a mushroom. It's a kima curry, so it's like, it's mushroom curry with rice. And then there's like a spicy curry with, with tomatoes and uh, turnips and rice. Then there's a salad, and then there's just various kinds of spaghetti. Oh, and they do have popcorn. I don't know what this is. I think it's some sort of deep fried noodle. I'm not exactly sure. But the rest of it, yeah, there's like basically a bar next to the sweets where there's gonna be a huge thing of rice, and there's gonna be different ladles for curry, and then there'll be pasta, and there'll be different things. Now, this is interesting because this is the, um, uh, basically a mushroom pasta, which is uh, uh, Japanese style. This is Neapolitan, which is probably the closest thing. I guess it's like, um, I don't know. It looks like peppers or something. I, I don't really know. I think it's just tomato sauce. This, however, is my favorite. This is mentaiko mayo uh, cream, and this is amazing. This is like pollock roe that's been spiced and then deep fried and mixed with mayonnaise. It is fantastic. And then meat sauce, of course, tomato sauce. Uh, pepperoncino is another one you may not be familiar with. This is essentially pasta. Uh, basically, they just take oil, like uh, olive oil, cook some garlic and some hot pepper, like, uh, to, like the to chilies, and toss the pasta in it with some pepper or some dried parsley flakes. And it is phenomenal. Pepperoncino, highly recommended. Um, and so that basically is what you're looking at. Now this Sweets Paradise, I've been here once. I literally went on a, um, on like a Wednesday afternoon. It was like before work or something. Um, again, my impression of is that you, it's kind of hard to like go there as a grown adult, but it is an experience. Um, 
it's not that expensive. Again, you really are topping out at fifteen dollars. I would not recommend if you're going to go there on the weekend. You're going, it's going to be a zoo. If Sembikia in a previous bonus episode, where you're paying like thirty dollars for a, for a cup of, of fancy fruits, this is the polar opposite of that. You know, school hours is going to be empty at, at one o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, try the Japanese take on desserts. So until next time, sayonara.